This is IGCSE Biology and today we're talking about osmosis. Osmosis is one of the important topics because you do get a lot of paper six practical questions asking you about this topic. One of the important practicals is the one involving the effect of concentrations on plant tissues such as potatoes or onions. We usually use a cork borer like the one you see here to form cylinders. And then we cut those cylinders into the same length using a ruler so that it would be a fair comparison between those cylinders. We will then measure the mass of those cylinders using a balance. Next, we will solve those cylinders into solutions that have different concentrations. We will allow them then for about six hours. We will then dry those cylinders on tissue papers just to make sure that we're only measuring the content of those cylinders not the water on their surface. Next, we will reweigh those potatoes and we will find the percentage change in their mass. You can see that some of those potatoes have gained water by osmosis because they've been put in dilute solutions, while the rest have lost mass because water diffused out by the same process. To find the solute concentration in these cylinders, we could plot a graph. And from the graph, you can identify the concentration where there is no change in mass. In my case here, that concentration is about 0.3, which indicates that there is no net diffusion of water in or out of those cells. 